This is a story about partnership, authentic friendship, and delivering something that had enormous value in our organization. It's a story of authenticity and delivering more than a program to allow people to be the best version of themselves. In order to be something different, we realized we needed an X factor. And that X factor was bringing together amazing partners to deliver something that had never been delivered before. We began each cohort by asking delegates to take a selfie of themselves and realize that they would never be the same person again after this. And as you can see in the slide, I'm celebrating our win together. As providers and organization in Sandbank, we were not the same either. We had also fundamentally changed because of the partnership. As organizations and individuals, we were deeply invested in the program. We were deeply invested in the experiences and we were deeply invested in ensuring the best quality outcome for all of our delegates. We experienced everything together. There was no such thing as the provider sitting on the sideline or the organization taking a back seat. We were all in it. The challenge that we posed to ourselves was to allow people to be more. We were more than a bank as Standard Bank and we asked our providers to be more than just providers. We asked them to be partners. Uh, we wanted to develop something for Africa by organizations that were headquartered in Africa. By saying that Africa is our home, we drive a growth, we really believed that our people had to be the best version of themselves. By being the best version of themselves, they could be better for themselves, for their family, for their community, for their organization, and ultimately for this amazing continent that we live on. The delegates became part of the learning process. It wasn't something that was done to them, it was something they were deeply involved in. Every single step of the way, we shared the raw, authentic details of what we were doing and asked for their raw, authentic feedback in order to make it better. And that, I think, was a game changer for us. The theme of the design was co. Co-create, co-create, and then co-create some more. The client together with the two schools. The design process was iterative as well. With the client, we post-it mapped our initial thinking on the wall. Then we did a video walkthrough, a narration of it in a way, so that we wouldn't forget the emerging design narrative. Then we took a few days off to pause and reflect on the design and think. After that, we held a kitchen session just as schools to refine our thinking before playing back to clients. From here, we graphically harvested this image and had the playback session with the client, adding in their inputs, more post-its on the image and more refinements. Semiotically as well, we wanted to encode the look and feel that was different and spoke to a different business challenge. And this image actually became the program's schedule and it was displayed in all sessions in class. Three respected organizations agreed to put purpose and passion over business. Exciting things happen when trust is high and co-design is provocational. Students reaped the rewards as they opted in, overcoming inherent fears to enjoy exponential growth and personal success. We started this program with a cohort of uh, 30 people and we thought we would run two to see how it would land and if we were on the right track of developing our people, uh, given what we had to achieve in as an organization. And within a few years, uh, we now have a waiting list of over 300 individuals wanting to attend and be part of this amazing journey to contribute to the organization. What we realized when we looked at the results of uh, the program and how our delegates had achieved and how they progressed through the organization, we began to realize that doing things differently really worked. Uh, it was community. It was about putting passion first, about finding your purpose and truly meaningfully contributing to an organization. A great example of this is one of our delegates who started a design thinking academy in Mozambique where employees had to uh, go through a design thinking process and pitch ideas 
to the EXCO team and board, and many of those ideas have been taken forward. When you see a learning journey as an evolving, a living thing, it changes things. In the words of our program integrator, the program is a thinking partner for delegates, more than a teacher about leadership best practice or the bank way. The focus is, who am I really? What really matters to me? Who are they really? Our clients, the world in transition. What is the contribution I want to make? And how do I find congruence and expression for this at the bank? With COVID, presenting in person became problematic. And our design team looked at a series of interactive Zooms and webinars, both for program alumni and for program delegates and also prospective program delegates, about 350 people in total, just to maintain momentum, but more importantly, to maintain connection. We know that our African continent is one loaded with potential. We have collaboratively untapped much to this point, but know that there is so much more we can do to enable globally minded and highly mobile talent, unleashing responsible and responsive leaders that focus on the right things for our time and way beyond.